everyone. Today we are going to see a semi-formal letter. So the letter is here. You are going to a month long training program in the UK. I know that the head of the course would like one of the participants to be the social, so social events organizer. So express your interest in the role, request for more information about it, explain what experience you have with these other platforms. You are going to write a letter to the training organizer. So the training organizer, so that's uh, uh, the person you are going to write, the organizer of the training. So it becomes um, a semi-formal letter now that the uh, organizer of the training will be the person who is responsible for uh, the arrangements. You know the, you know the person well. You know this person well, okay? So uh, you are not going to write to the head of the course. You are going to write to the training organizer. The head of the nose, uh, head of the course would like to like one of the participants to be the organizer of this event. So this person is not writing to you. So you are writing to this person because this person has passed you the message that the head of the no, head of the course wants such a person. So this person, the training organizer will be doing the arrangements for that. So you are writing to the training organizer. You know this person earlier, and that's why you are part of a program here. So that's it. So let's go ahead further. So uh, the first thing you need to know, you are not writing to the head of the course, so it won't become a formal letter. You're writing to a tra training organizer who you know the person. You must have a, a earlier exposure to this person and that's why you are a part of the program. So you, you might have communicated before. So that's it. So it, when it becomes a semi-formal letter, the salutation is here, dear Mr. Matthew. Now, now the purpose should be clear in the introduction. This letter has been written to express my interest. So express my interest to take up the role of the social event organizer during the training program. So which training program? It's a question. It should be discussed below. So I am, I am a person who is, who am I? I am a person who is uh, expressing my interest to take up the role of this thing. Okay, now I am moving it further, moving further here. It was yesterday I got the intimation from you. So the training organizer has written to you and you got the letter yesterday. That the next month training program organizes three different social events in Luton, Oxford and Manchester. So these are the places in the UK where the social events are going to be held. So he, he intimated you, the organizer had intimated you that there are three social events going to be held. I'm a local, I'm the local arts club secretary. So you, you know that arts club secretary is someone who is uh, into the social uh, things. And I think organizing such events in a foreign country would be a great opportunity for me. So you are expressing your interest in the role. So you have expressed your interest in the role there very clearly. Now the second point, request for more information about it. So yeah, I have expressed my interest here in a semi-formal way. Uh, it's not that much formal, okay? It's in a semi-formal way. Now I have uh, written something. What, what you need, more information. I would like to seek, okay, that's the case. I would like to seek some information on the matter. Okay, so the first is about the schedules. Okay, now let's see, speak about the schedules here. 
uh, uh, it would be better if you could provide me the exact dates of the events. And the second is a clear cut plan on the events and my own responsibility. So I can split this particular uh, sentence here. So it is like this. The second is a clear cut uh, plan on the event. So this is the thing. So I have written uh, enough to say what information you need. Provide me information about the dates. Provide me information about the plan. Provide me information about the responsibilities. Now, as a part of the National Arts Organization for the past five years, I've gained enough knowledge about such events. I also think my experience as the local arts club secretary can make me a better candidate here. So that's it. Now, this is what we have uh, the explanation for uh, the other thing. Explain what experience you have. You have five years experience as a national arts organization, as a member of um, this, this particular organization. And uh, I have said that uh, you have experience as a local arts club secretary. So these two things can make uh, you a better uh, candidate for this post. Okay. So I look forward a prompt and positive response from your side. That's the closing there. You're sincerely, Richard. So that's the thing. So we have come to the end of this particular letter. Uh, we have addressed all these things. We have uh, said what, what exactly was the reason why I uh, made it a, a semi-formal letter. It is written in a semi-formal style. Okay, so it is not, uh, the letter is not that much formal here. So please don't note that the letter is not that much formal. It's a little bit open. So the formality is reduced. As for the words, the word count is around 170, 171 words there. So I do have a clear cut introduction. The purposes are very concise and clear. And I do have a proper closing sentence. And if you have written the name, dear Mr. Matthew, your closing will be your sincerely rather than uh, your faithfully. Now your name is written, Richard. Thank you. And that's the end of the explanation of this particular letter here, the semi-formal letter. Thank you.